Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Fallout 76 video. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new quest guide for you. That's right. We had an update that dropped yesterday, giving us a brand new season. So, of course, we have some brand new quests. We get to decide the fate of the Brotherhood with a Night Penance full quest guide that eventually will get us a Facebreaker. Which is pretty nice. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just a little bit entertaining, please by all means you can follow, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially on YouTube because it really do help these videos get out there the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to get back more and do more giveaways. So thanks for watching everybody. Now if you want to bag that new awesome three star legendary to face breaker, well we have a new quest, a night's penance. Now if you have already finished all of your brotherhood quest line, it will pop up instantly once you log in then you will have to travel to fort atlas located right here once here we're going to talk to russell Lord. dorsey he White will State. start us off on our brand new quest line into a knight's penance first thing first we need to report to paladin rod money and knight shin so let's do that after you report in they give you a, a lowdown on exactly what's happened we have a search and rescue. That's right, we have some missing people. We're gonna need to recruit. We need to go and speak with Norland, a new initiative, and we need to go talk to another lovely lady that's gonna be located right down these stairs. Now, after you finish talking to Officer Houston and Officer Norland, and tell both of those guys to meet you at the Uncanny Caverns, well then, it's time to head to the Uncanny Caverns. Now the Uncounting Caverns is going to be located just due south of Vault 76, right here. It's also located right by White Springs as well. Alright, make your way to the Uncounting Caverns and report in with Nightshade. So, that's what we're going to do. Just jump on over right here and make your way inside of the Uncounting Caverns. So, away we go. Now, here's where it all goes down. We have a Night Shan, we have the two initiatives, now and us. Here. From here, we're gonna make our way all the way down into the caverns. You basically just need to follow Night Shan. If you run ahead, you will stop. There will be some enemies along the way, and each time you're gonna stop, and you're gonna talk to Night Shan, he's gonna talk to you more or less, have dialogue for you to go through, take a sweet picture, which is pretty cool, and then head your way all the way down yet again. We're going to stop quite a few times and the enemies are going to increase. You have some legendary enemies that pop up in this mission. You have some higher level enemies as well, level 100 floaters, and eventually some mutants as well. Now after you finish talking to Night Shin yet again, he's going to split up the group. Bad move. Now it's going to be the two initiative by this, so it is going to be you and it's going to be the guy Shin kicking back. And we need to search our way through. There's going to be some lighted rocks purple so just head over to the purple lighted rocks and you'll see that you can interact with it interact with it head over to the right pick up a shovel and as you can see head back over here and even if i equip the shovel there's nothing i can do with it for right now but definitely pick up the shovel because you're going to need it in order to clear out the rock slide but there are other options as well but if you don't have those options unlocked that's where the shovel is just one of the just to let you know that. So from there, you're gonna make your way to the right and you'll see there is a little entrance way over here. Perfect, just enough for these guys to slide through. Inspect the crevice and the quest will update yet again. We need to search for two ways through and it is completed. After that, we're gonna to return to Night Shin. After we return to Night Shin and, and give him an update on all of the different information that we have, well, he is going to ask you to clear the pathway and he's going to send the initiative on ahead by itself, which isn't a really good move. Just saying. But, you know, it is what it is. Deuces to you, my dude. In Houston, I'll see you a little bit later. Now it's time for us to find a way to clear the path. Basically, we're going to dig out these rocks. If you have the shovel, you can use shrimp. There's a luck way and plant a dynamite bundle. Of course, you know, I don't know what that is because I used strength. So just get the shovel and the strength and uh, you should be good to go with this part. So yeah, I'm not sure if it will collapse the cave or anything if you use dynamite. I don't see why it would be a progression blocker though, but you know, anyway, that's what I do. After that, the quest will update yet again and you have to eliminate the super old 
there are quite a few of them all level 100 so just keep that in mind from there you're gonna meet up with Shen after you take out all of those mutants and yet again the quest will update me to speak tonight Shen and guess what yeah it was a bad idea to split up those initiatives because yeah he's down and he's dead Norlin is no longer with the brotherhood at Victoria my dude you know it is what it is. After you finish talking to Shannon, he confessed that oh, he screwed up so big time. You need to search for a trail. Now, in order to search for that trail, just head to the number eight and hang the left right behind Night Shin. Right here will be a nice little hidden crevice. Enter into that crevice, and Night Shin will be on the other side. Follow Night Shin, and all the way down we go yet again. And guess what? There is the lovely, lovely lady. Houston. But guess what? There's mines around, and Dude Night Shane actually sacrifices himself to help everybody, which is unusual. What's what we get again? And here's some more Super League Berserker. So get ready. Level 100. Clear out all of those enemies. And yet again, with the help of Houston by your side. And yeah, quest will update. You own the very next part of the quest. Don't forget, there is a legendary down here, like I said previously. Well, once again, once you completed the quest, the quest will update. And uh, yeah, you're gonna check in on Night Shin. Night Shin is down, but he got on the armor, so you know, he's good. After that, you'll have some dialogue choices. You can search the area or continue the investigation later. I'm what we'll go ahead and do this right now because of course, you know, you wanna play. After that, then you need to head on over and search for information on the Super Mutants. So head to the left where you see like an orange, light from the different fires is the cave entrance is right here where we need to head into and to the left all the way up there will be a severed hand with the pit boy this is how we're going to search for the information on the super mutants who is doing some kidnapping so pick that up and yeah the quest will update yet again we need to bring that pit boy back to night shin so head back on over to night shin hand him the pit boy and he'll tell you that there is something that he wants you to do. He wants you to head back over to Fort Atlas. That's right, you need to bring that pet boy to Scribe Valdez. So, once again, head over to Fort Atlas. And inside of Fort Atlas, we're going to make our way to Valdez, who is right up here at the top. After you finish the dialogue with scribe of valdez you pretty much are done with the quest ladies and gentlemen quest will update you have a night penance completed you're on to the very next quest don't forget you got an awesome legendary as well a brand new three star legendary called the face breaker which is pretty cool now if you like melee weapons you're gonna like this damage increases at the east consecutive hit on the same enemy and uh, yeah, I think that's a good perk. I like that one. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Gaming. I upload a wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Without your help, this channel does nothing. With it, it could go to the moon. So once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.